Hello and welcome back. You are learning AWS Global Accelerator and you are already aware about use case. But when we are going for the practical, you will get better understanding. So here in this video, we are going to start our first lab of Global Accelerator Multi-Region EC2 Traffic Routing. So let's start. As always, we are going to complete all these steps in this video, but we are going to start with step number one. It is introduction of lab. So in this lab we have, we will set up AWS Global Accelerator to route the traffic between two EC2 instances in different regions. Keep this in mind that here we are going to use global accelerator. We are not going to use normal load balancer because if you have multiple EC2 instances into the multiple availability zone into the same region, then you can use load balancer. But here we have two different regions like uh, Mumbai and, and Virginia. We have two different web servers inside this region and we are going to load balance traffic between them. Look at this diagram. You will get better understanding that what we are going to, to do right now. So here we have region one. AP South 1 which is Mumbai and region 2 which is US East 1. We have one web server in each of this region and then we are going to load balance traffic using global accelerator. This will ensure that users are directed to the nearest server based on their location, improving performance and availability. We will configure each EC2 instance to show region specific content demonstrating global traffic routing in action. So here when we have all this configured when the user is going to open website let's say that there is a one user who is actually from USA when this user is going to open website using global accelerator URL or IP address this user will be redirect to the US web server because this user is actually from US if I have one user from US, India when user will open this website using global accelerator URL this user will be redirected to the India because the location of the user is in India, so he or she will get low latency access. Now, you may have one question here as well, that can we set up load balancer along with the global accelerator? Yes, we can, but for this, we will go for the next lab. So, in this lab, this is just our first lab about global accelerator, so we are going to make things easy. In the next lab, definitely, we will go for the advanced setup, like setting up a load balancer and then set up global accelerator. So here we are going to start our lab and the step number one is to launch EC2 instance into the different region. Here we will use two region, one AP South, one means Mumbai and another region we have will be N Virginia. If we talk about this, we are going to create same EC2 instance, we are going to use Amazon Linux, we are going to use T2 Micro, we will open port number 80 because we are going to set up load balancer, uh, we are going to set up web server. And we will use user data script. Now this will provide us localized content. Right. So I have one user data script for Mumbai. I have one another user data script for N Virginia. We are using user data script here. Why? Because then the configuration part will be very easy. You will get this mind map below the video of this, uh, below the description of this video. You will find out this and then you can use same script here. So let's go to the EC2 instance. EC2 dashboard, here I am in, inside my EC2 dashboard and I am in Mumbai. First of all, I am going to launch instance in Mumbai. So here I am going to give name, web, server, in. Give specific name so you can find out this because you will use this as an end point of, uh, of uh, a global accelerator. So at that time, name would be very important, right? So here I am giving name, web, server, in. As per rule, I'm going to use Amazon Linux here, T2 Micro. This is a key. I'm not going to choose any availability zone because we are just creating one EC2 instance. So it can create any availability zone. We don't have any issue. Now, I'm going to allow uh, HTTP traffic. Make sure that you have public IP enabled. I have default VPC. I'm not going to create any VPC here. So I'm just creating this EC2 instance into the default VPC. Now, we have to go to the advanced detail and then here we can copy and paste our user data script. So here I have this user data script and this is for India. So I'm going to copy this control C and pasting here. Okay. 
just remove spaces, right? And then it is okay. I just need to create one. So I'm going to click on launch instance. Now this instance will launch. We'll test this definitely. But meanwhile, we are going to US and we are going to create EC2 instance into the US as well. So from here, I'm going to choose N Virginia. And here I'm giving name, uh, web server, US, Amazon Linux, T2 Micro. Here I have this key pair. Even though we are not going to access this because we are going to set up everything using user data script, but it is okay to set up this key pair because if we are not able to access website using our user data script, we can go inside and solve problems. So that's why it is always a good idea to select key. If you don't have, you can create new key pair. Again, we don't have any problem with any availability zone. So let's AWS to decide a best availability zone for our EC2 test. Here I'm going to allow HTTP traffic and then going to the advanced detail. And here I have to copy user data script. So this is for Mumbai region and I have this for US. From the description of this video, you will get this user data script. Even you will get this mind map. So you just need to use this. Okay. One instance and launch. So now both instances are getting ready. So these steps are now over. So now we are going to test this. Okay. So test EC2 instance. Now testing is very easy. We just need to use public IP address and we need to open website. Okay. So let's go to the Mumbai. Go to the EC2 dashboard. Here I have this web server. Here I'm going to copy this, going to copy public IP and let's open website. If our user data script is okay, we are able to open website from India. Now see, this is a website content, CloudFox, Hub, Global Accelerator Test and here I'm getting Indian flag. Because I am actually opening website from India. Now same way we are going to the N Virginia. And here I am going to the EC2 dashboard. Going to the US instance. Going to copy this IP from US. And going to paste it over here. Again it will open website. And it will open this website with the flag of USA. So we can easily differentiate that. Okay we are getting website from two different EC2 instance. Okay. So what we can say that we have this part is ready. Okay. Now we want to load balance the traffic. We want that US people will get US website. Indian people will get Indian website. And we want to provide single point of contact for them. So we have to set up a global accelerator. So here we have completed this step. Now we are going for the create global accelerator. So first. Go to global accelerator and then we need to create this. Okay, let me explain you this step practically. So here I am going to start open this service global accelerator. Now keep this in mind. It is not a normal load balancer. If we are creating elastic load balancer like application load balancer or network load balancer, we are always creating this inside region. We have to create this into the specific subnet. Here global accelerator is a global service. So we do not need to select any region. While we are talking about elastic load balancer, these are actually related to the specific region. Global accelerator is not bound to any particular region. Okay. So here I'm going to the accelerator. I don't have any accelerator. So I'm going to create this. Here I am going to give name. Let's say that test GA. Here I'm going with the standard option. You can set up IPv4 or dual stack. Dual stack means you have target with IP version 4 and 6. But we are going with the IPv4 only. If you will set up dual stack, you will also get a IPv6 address of your global accelerator. But we are going with the IPv4 because this is our first lab of global accelerator. So let's click on next. Now once you complete this, the next step is to set up listener. Listener means when we want to, which kind of request our global accelerator will accept. So we have website and web server and we want to load balance traffic among them so we are going to use tcp port number 80 so 80 and here we have two protocols udp or tcp we have normal website so we are going to use tcp here we can add multiple port but we are just going with the one option i will explain you what is client affinity in upcoming days right now we just want to understand that whenever somebody will send request on a url of our global accelerator on port number 80 then this 
global accelerator will be activated and then it will work accordingly. So then next. Now once you complete this, our listener is configured. Now we have to set up listener endpoint group. Now when we are going to set up listener endpoint group, we have to understand our scenario. So add endpoint group. Now we have two regions, right? We want to route the traffic into the two regions. If you have multiple, you can create multiple and uh, endpoint group. Let's say that it supports maximum of 10. So let's say that if you have one EC2 instance into the N Virginia, another EC2 instance in Mumbai, another EC2 instance in U Europe. So you have, you are going to use three regions. So you have to create three endpoint group. So how many regions you are going to use according to this, you have to create endpoint group. Once you create endpoint group, okay, uh, while you are creating endpoint group, you have to select region. Then we have to add endpoints. Here we are going to use EC2 instance and we have to set up dial. Let's do this practically. You will get better understanding about it. Okay. So here I am going to use or add first endpoint group because in our lab we have two regions we are going to use. So we need to create two endpoint group. So here I am going to choose first US East 1. Now traffic dial is 100% means I want to load like I don't want to divide traffic. If the traffic is coming from US, forward it to the US. If traffic is coming to India, then forward it to the Indian people, like to the Indian target. Here, you can set up traffic. Uh, you can divide the traffic as well. You can say that, okay, whatever the traffic that I'm getting, if I'm getting 100 requests, I want to send 50% traffic to the uh, to this region and 50% traffic to another India region. So by setting up the dial, actually you are setting up the percentage of traffic that you need to forward. In some case, if you have failover scenario, you can also set up 100% uh, traffic to the specific region. And if this region goes down, then you will forward it to the another region. If you have blue-green deployment, you can set up that, okay, out of 80% traffic, send it to the US. 20% traffic will forward it to the India. And then slowly you are actually increasing the portion of India. So it is up to you. Right now, we are just going with the default option. So we are going to set up uh, traffic dial 100% right because uh, we just want to verify how the things are actually working right so I just added one endpoint group for US then another endpoint that I'm going to add which is for Mumbai and right now I'm just going to say that uh, traffic dial is 100% okay even though we have 100% for both what will happen it will only redirect the traffic based on the source of the user if you are from India you will be redirected to the India if you are from US, you will redirect to the US. Now we just need to add two endpoints, uh, endpoint group we have added here. And now in the, each endpoint, we have to add endpoint target. So here endpoint US is one. I'm going to add endpoint. You can add endpoint like application load balancer, network load balancer, EC2 instance and elastic IP. Right now we are going to use EC2 instance. In upcoming video, we will discuss about application load balancer. We can add application load balancer as well, but we will discuss about it, right? So here I'm going to use EC2 instance. Now, once you select EC2 instance, you will get list of all the EC2 instances that you have inside your US region. And we have only one web server US. So I'm just going to select this. We don't have multiple EC2 instances here in the US. So wait is all okay because we have only one. We are just going with the default option. Let's say that if you have multiple and then you want to load balance between them, you can also specify weight here. But we have only one, so no need to worry. We can go with the 128. Then here we have AP South 1. I'm going to add one endpoint here as well. So here EC2 and one EC2 instance here we have, which is having a name web server in. You can add multiple endpoint for a specific end group, but we have only one EC2 instances for each uh, region. So we are just going to add one, right? So this is done. Let's click on create global accelerator. Now, once you click on create global accelerator, it will work properly and it will take some time to create. Look at this here. I'm getting status enabled. I also got IP address and here it is a DNS name. You can try to open website using this DNS name if you are able to open this okay you can continue if you are not able to open this no need to worry you need to wait for five to six minutes just wait for it and then you will able to open website so I'm also waiting when I am able to open website I will come back 
Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope we are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.